Tomcho, what is your name? Dari Kulangra. Then, what is your name? Dari Kulangra. Do you want to go to the house? I want to go to the house. Got it, Ling, and that is all right. Thank you. Morning, morning, morning. Oh, Today we are on our way to Kunzandra. Vincent, how do you program in Kunzandra? How do you How do you program in and this guy both are making me. Santa Pelzi. Santa Pelzi. Santa Pelzi. Very stuck, 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 stuck. Gary yeah. can't go further. So parking here and then walk bridge over. I think four wheel. Here we gotta go anyway. <laughs> this doesn't have Okay, 
Sam Diki. Sip chan. Ata. Sam ni mohli pa menen mi. Ata lo start be this. Lam ke ni de. Lam ke ni gisa. Ini shkoma me kyu mo. Bun zan rol black top chok black top. Printing wa chakar. 108 ten na. Hmm. Yeah, to Yeah, garish chungu dis Gelin çeyim. Gelin. One hour diyeceğim. One hour diyeceğim. One hour diyeceğim. Yani. One hour diyeceğim. Bir tane de böyle bir walking stick. With the camera. Uzup canımı. Ata çıkıyor da uğrak gidiyor. Uğrak gidiyor. Good job, Tamchu. Tamchu, I'm proud of you. Ya şey koş şey koş. Anya. Tom çünkü geldi geldi. Kopru geldi. Pro kavurdu tam onu. Tabi konga çam çiğ tutuk adı etek çam onu. Ya action. Hadi çöpe. Ana da ya çöpe. Hadi motion den. To Kansandra today, <laughs> and and the team say hi. Hello. Hello. In Bumtang, there are four draws. Cliffs which are nays associated with Guru Rinpoche and Tertan Pema Lingpa, the great Bhutanese treasure revealer. These four cliffs are Chhetra, Shukdra, Thawadra and Kunzangdra. And today we are here at Kunzangdra.
The main reason why this place is known as Kunzangdra is because it is believed that those blessed with wisdom eyes and immense merit see the entire cliff where the Thakong currently stands appear as Chukukuntu Zangbo, Samantabhadra, the primordial Buddha, thus the name Kunzangdra. Kunzangdra is a place blessed by Guru Rinpoche in 8th century and then by Tirtan Pema Lingba in the 15th century. Pema Lingpa, born in Baribrang in 1450, grew up with his blacksmith grandfather in Manigimba. In accordance with the prophecy that Tirtan Pema Lingpa received from Guru Rinpoche in his pure vision, Pema Lingpa is believed to have then visited this place, Kunzangdra, and made it his place of residence. Another important Thagang that we get to visit at Kunzangdra is the Wangkang. Wangkang is a place where empowerments are bestowed. The main Nangten here is the statue of Chatong Chentong, the thousand arms and eyes of Alokiteshvara. Then along with this is a statue of Guru Rinpoche. This statue used to be one of the most important Nangten of Mani Gemba. Dalhakang also has the Mayebami statue. If we look carefully at the statue, we see that the face appears to be a little distorted. Oral story has it that long time ago, an epidemic just like the COVID-19 pandemic had occurred and caused an outbreak of disease resulting in causing a lot of suffering for the people living in the locality. The statue of Temba Yepame is believed to have taken all the sickness upon itself in order to heal the community, and the marks on his face were as a result of the compassionate act of taking in sufferings of the people caused by the disease. According to oral stories, it is said that Tsepame, the long-life Buddha, actually pledged to offer drinking water for Pema Lingpa if he decided to reside at this place. And with this, Pema Lingpa is then believed to have revealed the Tsepame statue as a therma and along with this also discovered the Tsepame Drupchu. Then we have the self-arising face of Sambala on a cliff. It is believed that the face of Sambala is again evident according to one's own merit, karma. Just as we pass this cliff, we come across a drupchu revealed by Tirtan Pema Lingpa. The amazing thing about this scanty drupchu is that Tirtan Pema Lingpa had revealed this drupchu by piercing the rocky cliff with his bare finger alone. Look, 
A few meters away from there, we come across a chortan built by Tukse Dawa. Just next to this chortan is also a big tree which is supposedly his chakar. The Kandrul Hakang is believed to have been built by 100,000 Dakinis. The size of the brick wall are comparatively smaller and it is believed that these were carried by 100,000 Dakinis. We also see a Kandru Druchu at its entrance. In this Lakang, we get to see a Guru statue built by Tertan Pema Lingpa himself, as well as many scriptures on slates written and sculpted by Tertan Pema Lingpa. We also see a stone slab that has footprint of Pema Lingpa. This stone slab had been used by Pema Lingpa as base for his blacksmithery work and it is believed that he left a footprint on the stone slab as a mark to indicate the end of his blacksmith career, so to say.
The place that we now see as Gyeongkha at Kunsandra is believed to have been his dwelling house. The Gyeongkha currently houses a statue of Gyeongbo Maning, a statue of Guru Rinpoche, and two statues of Tertan Pemalingpa. Of these two statues, one is the Tertan Pemalingpa Ngadamma statue. Ngadamma literally meaning the one that looks like me. This statue is believed to have been built by Tetan Pemalingpa himself for the benefit of future devotees who would be interested and curious to know about the existence of the 15th century Buddhist master Tetan Pemalingpa. Oh. 